name is? Danielle. Danielle. And this is who? Skyler. Skyler? Sky. Hi, Sky. How you doing? Say nice hi. little outfit. Go with the whole theme today. Hi, we're gonna pumpkin. make We're going to make her famous. Hey, pumpkin. Look at her. Over here. I got her. The cutest little hi. thing, huh? That well, enjoy one. the show today. Thank you. I This is a, a 2017 Ariel Adam. It's made in Virginia, uh, but the originally they were all made in England. This is this one has a uh, Honda 365 horsepower turbocharged motor, and it weighs 1,400 pounds. This gives it a power to weight ratio that exceeds just about any other production car, except the extreme exotics. How fast will it go? 160. Unbelievable. Open cockpit. We think we'll get a better look, but wow. Who sells this now? Direct from uh, Ariel in uh, it's actually TMC in, in Southern Virginia. So are they like limited production? Yes. The, right now, I think they're backed up like a year or two. It's all hand built. Oh. Great story. Thank you. Sure.
This is my 63 and a half Ford Galaxy, 390 car with a four speed. Wow, huh? It's a beefy engine. Yeah, my wife wants to know all the time why I drive it so fast. And I say, because I can. <laughs> and I'm always thinking about the overflows for the antifreeze. It looks like a bladder bag. <laughs> no, that, that's, that's actually for the windshield wiper fluid. The overflow for the antifreeze comes, this is an expansion tank. It comes right down here, oh, straight into the ground. <laughs> I color this car called Viking Blue. Personally, I've been around the car business for a long time. I usually look at the interior of the car first. That tells you a lot about the car. And that's my favorite thing on this car, is the interior and driving it. So I'm six feet, three inches tall. This didn't go back far enough. I'd be hitting the shifter. So I actually had a machine guy make me some plates to move the seat back three inches. Talk about seats, some sexy looking seats there. Yeah, I mean, you know, a lot of cars, uh, I tell people all the time when you're redoing your car, I go with a black interior. I mean, no offense to the guy that's got black, you might want the black interior. How long have you owned the car? I bought it in 2015.
I'm good. My name is Pete. I'm from Grafton, Massachusetts. I drove this car all the way down. It's a 65 El Camino, LA8 427 big block, 5 speed, 12 bolt rear, 355s. Straight axle. I've driven it in uh, 8 states. Driven it to 8 states and back home. And uh, it's an eyeball scratcher, they call it. Alright, let's hear this baby start up, huh? Well, alright, we'll see. <laughs> It's the ZZ427, it's a copy of the LA88. I did a couple of different things to it, I put a different camshaft in it, uh, different intake mode manifold, and a couple other little secrets. Uh, the headers are from Tubular Automotive, very famous place out of Rockland, Mass. Uh, that's good, that's good, thank you. Know. All right. Yeah. So what is your name? I'm Randy. Hey Randy, George, what made it a heavy Chevy? Uh, stand right, stand right there. What made it a heavy Chevy? I don't want to catch you off guard here, but come on. Chevy must... did it for two years. They made 71 and 72. Only it's only a two-year car. And that's it. How about the that's color, Sam? This is color? called uh, flame orange. Yeah. This color is flame orange. They made a few colors. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. You just started up for us. You got it. <laughs> All right. Yeah.
they did not take care of them. Yeah, they made all that money. So they got a mass order of black. I was ordered a lot of Bug me, bug me, and bug me for My name's Rob. Uh, this is my dad's 57 fuel injected Corvette. It's originally one of the low horsepower ones with the hydraulic lifters. Someone before him put the solid lifters in, so it's a 283 horse. Uh, it's the original fuel unit to the car. It's got 456s and a Detroit and a first shifter, and the thing drives like a go kart. He has no idea how many owners it is. He got it in 1971 from some guy for 700 bucks in a broken Muncie. It used to be raced. One of the doors, um, he replaced one of the doors and it was painted black underneath when he originally repainted the car in 1980, not that it held up all that well. Um, but, and the, the, rear, uh, the rear wheel wells are uh, cut out a little bit because it had reversed uh, welded wheels on it for drag racing. Uh, but he ran this thing at Lime Rock, he drag raced it, it's just... How many miles are on the car currently? 96 Maybe something, original. something 96,000. So the we know it's all the patina, right? All the rust patina, and, and, and that 
as as it sits there as we see it, it doesn't hurt any of the functionality. Nothing at all. Like this is uh this is all fiberglass, yep. so it, it's not even gonna rust. The only thing that's really metal on the car is the frame underneath it, and that's pretty solid. So Thank you very much. Great talking to you. Yeah.
How you doing? Good, you? Yeah. Any shade back here? <laughs>
Scunzio car, and uh, they uh, sponsored 13 cars, Scunzio Chevrolet out of Rhode Island. And uh, this is one of them, and it's still original. Uh, 
Casey, this is a front engine dragster. It's a sea dragster. It went 1101, 128, and 1965. The record was 1088, 130. So we were pretty close, but not good enough yeah. to win. But I mean, that's that's with the car, the whole truck, and the trailer, and everything's from 1965. Now, you raced this car? Yes. Yeah, I drove it. You can't paint it? Yep. That's yep. awesome. And then we ran out of money in 65, so I took it all apart, put it down in my mother's basement, and it sat there for, I don't know how many... Two thousand seven. 2017. Let me put it back together, so we did. So Casey, the way we see this rail today, this is true nostalgia. Yes. This is just the way it, it would have been then. then. Yep. Original yeah, didn't, paint, didn't original paint. wheels, original tires. Everything here, what you see here is original from 1965. <laughs> you want to do for numbers again on the track? It went 1101-128, and the record was 1088-130. So we were fairly close, but... It ran good.
It's a 71 Vega. Yeah. And what's that all powered two, by? All two frame. It's a, it's a 292 board over 60. How's she running? Well, it's yeah, running it's really like nice. Uh, 12, uh, 12 and 3 quarter compression piston. Uh, uh, Cecil head with the lump ports. That's what you got here. Check it out. Yeah. Yeah. This is not a common engine that guys are running. Three, three two levers. Uh, four speed. Four knife. Three two barrel levers. Side drafts, of course. I'll be looking for 11 in the valley. Okay. Thank you. Do you go test some tunes on no, Friday? No, I haven't. I'm yeah, going to get up there. It gives me the opportunity to go test some video out when I'm up there. Yeah. No, I watch your videos. They're good. That's like, yeah, that's a good name from Killstick. That's what we used to call it back in the day. That's oh, I, really? I had a bunch of these. <laughs> Killstickers. You drive around on the street, people, well, they respect you a little bit more. That's right. <laughs> I got a call. I hated my job. So I my job. I had to clamp cords from the 11th floor on.